all of us are going to be aligning to the BNSC strategy. And as you align to that strategy, automatically you'll be aligned to, to GSS because GSS is aligned to that strategy. And how easier is uh, implementation going to be? When you implement your strategy, when you implement your, your mandate, you are implementing our mandate. Very cost effective. Established presentation at uh, AUSC and WIS Region 5. The Dr. Hulela is representing us in, in, in that, and we are very busy. Just two days back, uh, when we were at Masa, I could see our, uh, our presence is an achievement. We will continue working with them. We hosted IWG Big Five Legacy. I'm taking off. Oh, this is today. It's an achievement. We are here. And these are some of the, achievement, the, the achievements. You note that in that pack we don't have challenges, but also there are challenges. There are challenges that are not here, but just to say that, you know when you are picking people to, 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 to help you drive your mandate, you should, be, you should consider a number of factors. Uh, I, I think we are challenged in Wasbo because when uh, some of us were picked, I was handling, I just give my, uh, myself as an example, H handling a very small organization. When you take too much, even when you have the passion, you may not be able to deliver. The same applies to everybody. We want this delivered. And you really have to take into consideration the passion, the experience, the availability, all those for us to be able to deliver this, when you pick people who are going to be driving uh, whatever strategy moving forward. And I think that is what we are, we are, we are, we are replanning as well, so that we need people now who are going to be delivering this, who are available and can, can work. Because when you start, availability is important. But it's not just availability, the experience, the passion, the knowledge which you are carrying along. You can have those knowledge, experience, the passion, but if you are not available, will not be driven. So as I welcome you, and you see has shared the, 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 the program for the day, I really want to plead with you that uh, be very open, give feedback, and make sure that you leave this place appreciating what accountability means. That's where we talk about transparency. When you spend your money, whether you are BNOC, whether you are BNSC, whether you are the Minister of Youth, at the end of the day, when the audit is done, it has to be clear what that money achieved in terms of performance. And that is not just WASBO, everybody. So this accountability, it has to, it, it's for everybody. When you talk about research, as you continue implementing the mandate, you need to be knowing which interventions are having more impact and you continue with those. Which ones can I drop? But you can only know when you are doing the research. So research is going to be also very important. We prioritize it as legacy. When you talk about representation, I know that some people will say, okay, even if it's a man, as long as they are objective and they can think along uh, to, to cater in for everybody. But then one asks, now that we are females and males, why should it be like that? So that's where we have representation. When you talk about media and you talk about communication, we are here, we are less than 100. We have people out there, more than a million, who need to be knowing about this. So communication is very important. So this is now, you are going to be doing the details of that. And I want to thank you very much as I welcome you. Thank you.